So, a pleasant morning to everyone. As a continuation of the recent activity regarding the Comparative Analysis Board, I'll be the one presenting our output on behalf of my groupmate, Emmanuel Bautista, who did the Architectural Board. So, this presentation contains the comparison and contrast of the five highlighted features of our chosen temple from different countries in Southeast Asia, namely Wat Umong, Sri Mahamariaman Temple, Angkor Wat, Sami Monastery, and Gantan Taichinlian Temple. So, Southeast Asian architecture is better known for its complex multicultural features because it is highly influenced by different countries around the world. So, let's move on to the comparative analysis when it comes to statues. So, Thailand has a lot of Buddhist or Buddha statues because 95% of the population are Buddhist. In Malaysia and Cambodia, which is a Hindu country, they worship two Hindu gods, Mariaman and Vishnu. In Tibet, it is a Buddhist country, also believe that Buddha created their structure to protect the village from evil spirits. In Mongolia, another Buddhist country, they hold the tallest indoor statue in the world, Avalokitesvara, who believe to be the reincarnation of their god Buddha. Sum it up. Their temple serve as a worshipping place for their gods because in these countries, there are two highly respected religions, Hinduism and Buddhism. Let's move on to the roof. Wat Umong has a unpainted circular bell-shaped chedi or stupas as a main roof. Malaysia has Indian influences. That's why they, their temple or the main temple has a basic flat roofing with vibrant color. So Angkor Wat in Cambodia has, is similar to Wat Umong of Thailand, which has stupas. And Tibetan architecture or Samyo Monastery it has a Chinese architectural influences, so it has a gilded double eave gable roof with sweeping curvature at corners but is slightly lower pitched. In Mongolia, it is influenced by a Chinese architecture as well, so the roofing is called Shishan or the double eave gable hip roof. So to sum it up, Thailand in Cambodia has tupas, Malaysian has flat roof and Mongolian and Tibet has double eave gable roof so their roofing is also based on the climate that's why eave and overhang is one of the main features of Southeast Asian architecture. In the column so this is the Ashok pillar from Wat Umong it has a wheel base and additional larger wheel on top and this these columns from Malaysia it is dedicated to goddess Lakshmi which is a particular, which particularly is square in shape, but floral ornamental mold, moldings in shop. So this one covers the entire prayer hall. Cambodia it has a very short but the columns that supports the whole balustrades. In Tibet, it has a circular column with lotus decorations in a very unusual red curvature capital. So Mongolia doesn't have a specified column but it has an arc that serves as an entrance to temple. So to sum it up, there are no similar columns with all the countries. They have their own distinct style in creating structural posts. Let's move on to the materials. And Thailand or Wat Umong is made of lime and stone to create a circular pattern. So the Sri Mahamariaman temple is also made of stone with colorful Spanish and Italian tiles. Cambodia is also made of sandstone and laterite or the clay type of soil. The Tibet is also made of stone but most part of the interior wall is entirely covered with textile printing. In Mongolia, it is also made of cut stones painted or whitewashed. So sum it up, Thai, Tibet, Mongolia relies on stones for construction, but Thai and Malaysia relies on the lime and sandstone to build stupas or circular temple for it's much easier for it is much easier to mold. So in floor plan, Wat Umong is a complex forest. Its main structure is composed of tunnel and altar only. So in Malaysia, it is a very simple square layout covered with the hallway and central altar for worshipping. Cambodia, it has a largest structure and replica of universe in, in the form of stone. So this has a square plan that serves as a representation of the center of the universe. In Tibet, the Tibet architecture, the temple has a square plan as well. It is based on the Buddhist cosmology. It's constructed based on the principle of geomancy. In Mongolia, it has a complex cross-sectional building that holds a special altar 
for worshipping. So to sum it, sum it up, most of the Southeast Asian temples have a square plan with altar either at the center or at the end of the temple. Located at the top of mountain, adapting to the natural culture of the land. It also has a symbolism related to physical universe, but this temple is believed to be a gateway between uh, divine deities in nature. So this is the end of the presentation. Thank you so much.